Well, the question is, what is Vancouverism? Or Vancouver style? Or how do you do it in Vancouver? And, and a lot of people talk about the architecture. Uh, that's fair enough, it is a design response, but it's really something much more. It was a response to a circumstance. We had this opportunity to do a lot of brownfield development, that is, you know, old rail yards where you could do high density. And the real question is, how do you do density well? And it comes down to just some, well, some basic things. How well does it relate to people? And what's it feel like? And in addition, you've got to meet a lot of technical requirements. How do you do the parking? You know, so much of what it <laughs> comes down to is how you do the parking. And a few basic principles around design. Here's, here's one, no blank walls. When you get to parking, that's a real problem. Parking is mostly blank walls. So a, a solution, one of the first real examples of Vancouverism was rather than having a, a parking garage come up like this and have a blank wall that faces the street, why not put townhouses, row houses? It's an architectural style we hadn't used before, but it really solved a lot of problems. It created a different kind of housing unit. It related well to the street. It turned out to be pretty profitable as well. It was more attractive to families with children. And here, here's where you can really begin to see how architecture and design and, and the way that people live, accommodating all different kinds of people, to create a fabric of the city that when you put all the pieces together, uh, gives you a sense of place. It has to work economically, has to work physically, and if it works well for people, uh, that's win-win-win.